welcome to Mecha Break. Uh, this is a PvP mech 6v6 game. Well, this mode that we have here in the beta is 6v6. It's going to also support uh, 3v3 style arena mode and also a little battle royale type mode. Uh, but this game kind of snuck up on me. I mean, I saw a trailer for it a little while back. And as somebody who's a, fran who's a fan of the Gundam Extreme Versus series... I was sort of mildly interested in it. You know, I like mechs as a whole. I build Gunpla and all that sort of thing. But um, as somebody who specifically likes uh, Gundam Extreme Versus, I knew that this wasn't really the game that I wanted. So I was interested in it, but I was just, you know, I kept my expectations low. Now, having played this in the beta, I can say that this game has far exceeded my expectations, and I like it maybe just as much as I like Gundam Extreme Versus, which is really saying something. So I'm really, really hype about it. Um, and this has also been like a great unifier in my friend group. People that are really into the movement shooters have been into it. People that are into hero shooters have been into it. People that don't really play this type of game at all have been into it. Um, so it's been really great to see, you know, all my friends sort of come together. And this game is just great. It's so much fun. So I figured we could uh, play a couple matches, show you what's going on. Now, my favorite suit in this game, personally, is Lumine, who is sort of this... A very high mobility um, hot and dot applier. They put a lot of heal over time over on their teammates, and they put the damage over time markers on the enemies. Um, but currently, I feel like this suit is a little bit underpowered. It doesn't do too much damage or too much healing, so we're gonna maybe maybe we'll do a game on that later. But the one that I've really been enjoying, as far as like a damage dealer goes, is Sky Raider. And we'll just go ahead and queue here. The the queue doesn't take very long at all, so. Should be able to get a match. I've, I've been grinding this game. I think I've got, uh, let's see, I've got 15 hours so far. I think it's probably closer to 12. I think I've been idling on the main menu a little bit, but super, super fun. And I've got friends who, well, one friend in particular who's got like 36 hours and has only been in beta for a couple of days. So that's a lot. <laughs> Certainly a lot. We've got our 64% win. Everybody in on this team has over a 60% win rate. So that's pretty hype. I'm just going to go ahead and click ready. I'm thinking for this video, we'll definitely play Sky Raider. Maybe we'll do it a second time, but uh, some other suits I've been really enjoying are uh, Stego and, like I said, Luminate before. But yeah, 6v6, a couple of different uh, maps and game modes and stuff like that. Most of them are objective-based, but there is one uh, elimination-style game mode, like a team deathmatch, but with one life. I think that's supposed to emulate what the 3v3 arena mode is going to look like. And that's going to be so sick when that comes out. That's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, regular viewers of this channel, they might be wondering, Loops, where have you been? You haven't posted anything in like two to three weeks. And I do want to apologize about that. I had a, a bit of a, a dental emergency going on, but I got out of surgery earlier today and I'm feeling a little bit better. So all hunky-dory now. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and get into this game. Very high on the movement, kind of like, you know, Gundam Extreme Versus. It's very resource intensive in terms of trying to keep track of how much boost you've got and what resources other people are using and all that sort of stuff. Uh, keeping track of all of your, your ammo and your cooldowns and all that. So we're just going to see what we can do. Sky Raider, I think, is characterized by this, uh, this flying form and is able to output a lot, a lot of damage. And is a little bit uh, more durable than Falcon, which is the other, um, you know, transforming flying suit. So that's quite nice. Let's you make a few more mistakes than a Falcon can make. I'm noticing this Hurricane is a little bit low, so I'm just going to go ahead and send it on him. Let's see if we can get him down. And I'm going to fast fall down here. Yep. Uh, our energy is low. Now, I'm going to come over to these crystals. You'll notice that my energy regains faster when I'm on those crystals. So there's probably like a lore thing going on that I'm not aware of there. But I think that's a cool little mechanic. Uh, we're fighting pretty good for this point. The Hurricane has used this evasive move, so we're not going to be able to target him for a little bit. I'm going to toss this out. And yeah, we're still fighting for A. Elisney's the suit I'm targeting right now has multiple lives, so I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to see if we can capture this real quick. And we do. Yippee. Elisney's, I don't think we're going to be able to kill him here. 
But we'll at least force him to transform and then we'll go ahead for B. And now Welkin's here. He's put us in this box. That's not going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and boost on out of here. If I can. Fortunately, we still had a lot of boost to, to use. And Welkin's a little bit of a slower unit, so... Uh, he's not going to be able to chase us, but we do have to take it a little bit easier here. Try to hammer on this Aquila as much as possible. Uh, and I'm not really sure what they're doing, to be honest with you, but... No, B was just captured. We've still got A. This Hurricane's trying to harass me. I'll LOS them a little bit. Just while I uh, regain some of my resources, and now we'll go open up. Okay, good shield. I'll back off for now. That's fault. And there's a lot of people over here fighting for B points, so uh, I guess we'll go assist here. Okay. Well, there's like three to four people there. So I think we'll just back off and play for A. We've already got two out of the three points, so we don't have to uh, try and fight so hard for that third one. They do have a sniper over there, so I'm playing a little bit safe at the moment. And now we can uh, open up just a little bit. Oop, very low. Uh, we don't really have a way to heal ourselves. We can get our shield back. So we'll do that. It looks like waiting on these crystals also regens your shield, which I wasn't aware of, so we'll chill here for just a second. And the big thing we gotta be on the lookout for is melee, like that guy right there! hey -o. Okay. So melee attacks in this game go through shields, they just deal damage to your health. So, that's why I was a little bit on the, on the lookout there, but unfortunate that as soon as we popped up, the Welkin was right there. And that melee range is so good. It's exactly as good as it should be. Not saying it's too strong, but it is very good. We'll go ahead and land here. Now, we are ahead, but we are down one point, so we want to fight for something. Um, a seems to have a bunch of people on it, so we're going to try to use our resources to get over to B. And it'll also help us flank this Norikami, who's over here still. The Narukami is still there, they're just stealthed up. Man, the Elisnes has revived twice now. Oop, we are all out of boost. That is really, really bad. Especially because we've got a couple of melee suits by us. The only way to reliably get out of those is by having boost. So, just a poor use of my resources right there. That's okay. What's not okay is that we've lost every point now. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't played all of the suits yet, so I don't... <laughs> what was that shot? <laughs> uh, I haven't used every suit here, so I'm not entirely familiar with what everybody does. But, uh... Narukami... I didn't realize that Narukami had shots that she didn't have to aim. I thought that she had to be hard-scoped for everything. But I don't know why I thought that. I think I just assumed. Uh, pretty cool that she doesn't. Uh, that Aquila is incredibly low. We're just gonna finish that off right now. And we're gonna play for A if we can. This Hurricane is also hell low. Okay. So I'm gonna try to cap this. Got it. Okay. I'm looking at C. Okay. We still got that defended. Uh, probably just going to transform here. Yep. There it is. 
Okay, we got him. That's pretty dope. I don't see anybody on B, so I'm just gonna try to back cap it real quick. Very nice. It makes me wonder where everybody is, though. I assume if they're not in the middle and they're not defending their own point, they're probably trying to capture C, so... And I see a couple people low over in that direction. There's a Welkin here. We're gonna try to play away from him. This is like a primarily heavy, like, melee suit, so... He should struggle to close the distance, and, uh... He really wants to, ideally. And I'm just gonna try to play safe. I need to regain some of my energy. Let's just do that real quick, and I work back out. Oh, oh no, he caught me in the box. Got some homies here, retreated over to them. Need to be careful, a little low on energy here. Welkin is very low right here. Kind of flew right past me. His name is just Sports. <laughs> I hear somebody. And there it is. Nice first game. Did a lot of damage there too. But yeah, this is just one of very... It's a, there's a bunch of different types of suits that you can play, each with their own like interesting playstyle. This is classified as a medium unit, but I think because he has the flight mode, he's just so, so mobile. Um, and the flight mode is so energy efficient that he can move around a lot longer than I think other units could, so... Oh, I got MVP too? Let's go! You know, whenever I record, I have to get MVP. And there it is. Gold 4. On our way up to Platinum. I gotta catch up to some of my homies. Like I said, one of my buddies has been playing for like 36 hours. Actual degenerate. And I'm the unemployed one. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. Uh, we're gonna switch suits. This isn't actually where you do that, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. We switch instead here. So this is Stego. This is another suit I've been enjoying. He's just a massive boy. He's kind of the opposite of the other two suits that we'll, we'll play in this video. Where he's just not very mobile, he's not very energy efficient, and he's able to go into a mode where he basically becomes like a stationary tank and just hunkers down. Um, and I think that that's really, really cool. But his big thing is just that he does a, a ton of damage. Like, an insane amount, really. So yeah, hopefully we can get into a game soon. But uh, I'll just stop the recording and then start it again whenever we're in one. Alright. So, this is another game mode uh, pretty similar to the last one, except it's not like a domination where you capture two out of three points and then just try to maintain that. Uh, in this mode, there are like a bunch of different nodes that are going to spawn across the map, and we have to capture eight of them before the enemy captures eight of them. Uh, Stego, like I said, big beefy boy, uh, not nearly as mobile as the other ones, but able to just absolutely dump damage out. Ooh. And we've attracted the attention of this Narukami. Try to back off a little bit. Narukami seems to have moved over there. Ah, uh, yeah, and I've already used up too much boost. Just not paying attention. And you see, I've, I've like barely moved around. Yeah, they already got the point. That doesn't feel great. Got that guy. Uh, we gotta move over to A. I'm gonna go ahead and siege up. See if I can just hammer through this guy's shield. And we sure can. If anybody can, it's gonna be Stego. The tanky man. He's not really a man, is he? I'm gonna hammer at this guy, see if we can get him out of the sky. Ooh. 
Got another assist there. We've really attracted the attention of this Narukami, though. The Narukami themselves is pretty distracted, so I'm going to go back to shooting at the Sky Raider. I'm definitely giving, I believe that's my Falcon, a lot of trouble. Hammer at this Welkin again. Uh, Welkin is definitely one of the favorite melee suits right now. I think partially because of this mode. He has this move where he's able to summon a box around somebody and then just kind of trap them in there to force them to play melee with them, right? And then obviously he's very good at melee, so that's what he wants. Akin to like a, a Jarvan ult in League of Legends. Why would I compare it to a League of Legends character? What does that have to do with this game? <laughs> in any case, uh, one of the downsides of the box, or I guess it's kind of an exploit, this is a, a game mode about like channeling on different points to capture them. And because he's able to put a box around himself, you aren't able to interrupt him from channeling on the, uh, the points. So I think that's definitely something that we can expect to change at some point in the future. Um, either make it so that, you know, maybe he's trapped somebody in the box with him so they're not able to move, but their teammates are still able to shoot in so that they can disrupt people that are inside of it. Or make it so that when you're in the box, you can't channel on points or something like that. Um, we are uh, shielding in the exact wrong direction. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to siege up right here. I'm already out of boost, so... There's no point trying to move. I can't. This hurricane is lighting me up right now, though. And we're probably going to die, but we can at least uh, do a bunch of damage to him before we go down. A lot of the ways that I have learned to live for long periods of time in this game is just through movement. So I usually play either really fast characters or characters that have like a mode that they can go into to move around. So with the Stego character, I usually just die a bunch, but I also do a metric ton of damage. I mean, I'm sure if I look at the graph, yeah, 770,000. I mean, nobody else on this team has even approached that yet. So um, even if I'm dead a decent amount of the time, so long as I kill two or three people before I go, that's all right with me. Yeah, see, he's, he's doing this exploit right here. So that doesn't feel too good. Ooh, and I've used all my boost again. I'm just so used to having damn near infinite boost. A light hurricane up. Need to be careful, we're using a bunch of boost again on literally nothing. Yeah, Hurricane's gonna kill me here. Okay, we did it. Yeah, I... I'm not a fan of this. I guess the counterplay is you just have to stand on the point with him. That's really about all you can do. Yeah, now our Welkin is going to do it. I just don't think that's very engaging gameplay. I'm sorry. I just... I don't... Uh, but that's okay. It's... I mean... This is like an alpha... This game doesn't come out until 2025, so... I'm not stressing about it that much. Kill this guy right here. He's definitely dead. Very generous double kill timing there. Alright, I've used all my boost. I might as well lock down. No reason not to. There's somebody behind me. Um, not really, no. These are little AI bots here. That's okay. So long as I stop the Welkin. Yeah, 
you can't just do that, welcome. There we go. Another win in the bag. You can tell this character, obviously, he's not moving around as fast. Maybe that's less exciting, but he just does so much damage, bro. You can walk out, use all your cooldowns, and you've done like 300k immediately. Super, super fun. So I think we'll get one more game in here as Lumine, and then we'll sort of talk about why I think they might be lacking just a little bit. All right, and on this game we are on Lumine, which is one of the two support suits in the game. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but basically the way they work is they're able to put out hots on their allies and dots on the enemy targets, and they switch between two modes to do that. But I feel like the healing throughput and the damage output is just not very much. And I should also mention right now that we are in another game mode now. This is like an elimination TDM. So you got one life and then um, you just try to eliminate everybody on the enemy team. Where are my teammates? I should start applying hots to somebody, even if they aren't taking damage. They last like a little while, so. It seemed like we're a little bit sieged up. We're afraid to move for whatever reason. Um, so I'm gonna try to get out some dots on people. Oop. That panther is the last person we want to fight. Panther is a very uh, melee focused suit. It just has infinite energy to move around and do whatever they want to want to do to you. Put out some dots on people. So I like this suit because I just, I like moving around a lot, and I'm always a big fan of like healing over time and damage dealing over time. I'm a sucker for, you know, in MMOs, any class that does either of those things, so. I think this is going to be a really cool suit to play. But uh, definitely think it could use just a little bit of love, just a little bit. Now I'm going to heal up this homie real quick, if I can. Uh, Panther appears to be killing them right now. Okay, they have no boost to go anywhere. Either they have no boost or they haven't figured out how to use it yet. Uh, I only have one buddy who is still alive, and it appears to be a 2v6. So we'll put our hots up on this target. Try to get away from the Elisnes. Um... Yeah, this round's pretty over. I have full health and uh, shield, but I don't have the threat to actually kill anybody. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Let's see. Do we have repair? Not a lot of repairing going on. My homie's done more repairing than I have. And not much damage either. Alright. Let's see if we can pick up the pace. But yeah, my my experience with this suit has been um How do I word this? I think maybe there's just something I'm not understanding. You know, usually I'm not the type of person to call for like balance changes uh pretty soon because I always just assume that there's something I don't understand because it's usually easier to uh, like improve your gameplay if you just assume that there's something that you could be doing better but um, there have been entire matches where over the course of the the match I'll do like 300k in healing and I know that I have like decent uptime the entire time and then I play a character like Stego and I just do 300k immediately in damage Obviously, I don't think healing is supposed to be as strong as damage dealing in pretty much any game like this. Um, so I don't want it to be on par or on parity, but I do want it to be viable. You know what I'm saying? This is my favorite suit. I want to play it. Okay, let's see if we can get over to this guy. That's one hot on him. We can get up to two, but my stuff is currently on cooldown. I'll fast fall. All right, we've got you. Ooh. Put some dots on Panther here. 
Oop. Walked right into the Welkin. We're currently in the box. How are all of our teammates always dead? This is not the wave. Why can't I use this? This is like a revive station, but I don't know what the condition is for using it. I used to think that it was like, if you're at a player advantage, then you can't use it. So if like we had eliminated two of their teammates, but we, you know, we're still at six, then I thought that you couldn't use it then. But we're clearly behind right now, and we still can't use it. So I don't know what the I don't know what the conditions are. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see if I can repair myself a little bit. So if you're aiming at nobody when you send out the drones, you just put them on yourself. So that's pretty tight. But also, if I put two on me, you can look over at the left and see how fast it heals you. Or I guess at the bottom of the screen. It's not nothing, but it is slow. And I'm also the last one alive again. this you won't kill me I'll kill me ah good game yeah I don't know it just feels like the suit is lacking something but anyway I'm super excited for this game this is like my game of the year 2025 so far um, and it feels like it's in such a good spot like we were talking about it earlier in my discord but um, like the game has a couple of balance issues, obviously. And a couple of like exploits and things like that that are not super engaging. But in terms of like the movement, the optimization, like the maps, the game modes, like the, the progression, I feel like all of that is really, really good. The fact that you can paint the suits however you want to, you can customize your pilot. Um, I think all that stuff is super, super good. Um, I think maybe one complaint I might have is the mods. So there's like a mod system where you open up packs, you get uh, various different mods, you equip them to the different weapons that you have, and they can give you stuff like uh, different types of armor region or, um, you know, max HP. You know, you see that they all come with like a compromise, which is like, or maybe that maybe these aren't compromises. I thought one was green and one was red because one was a positive and one was a negative, but it looks like they're both, they both got up arrows and they both say plus. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But in any case, these mods, I think the biggest problem with them is just that they're not very interesting. Like, they're just small little stat changes here and there. I think if, like, I was equipping something that changed how that weapon worked in, like, a slightly more fundamental way, I think that would be more engaging. And uh, I think it would just feel better overall than being like, oh, I'm playing the suit and I feel like I run out of energy too quickly. Like, let me put in all of the energy up mods and then just be better at that thing. Like, I'm not saying this is uninteresting, but it's not as interesting as it could be, I don't think. Everything else. I feel like, you know, you slap some more game modes in here, you set me free. Like, I don't, I don't really need that much more than this. But yeah, uh, if you've played it, let me know what you think. I'm really, really looking forward to this. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next... Oh, another thing. Uh, I have started a second channel. Uh, there's currently nothing on it because I just made the channel and then I got busy with, you know, surgery and whatnot. But um, the idea is that this channel can remain a channel that has slightly more structured videos that are, like, about particular topics. And then the second channel is more of, like, a daily... I don't want to say Let's Play style of channel because I, I feel like Let's Play implies, like, a single player start to end kind of playthrough but it's more of like a let's hang out and play whatever i'm into at the moment if it's like card games or just you know just whatever it's just like a daily let's play a thing channel so uh, i definitely recommend checking that out like i said nothing on it yet but that'll that'll change soon enough
I'll put the link down in the description. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, peace.